Oh, you want to see my baby bump, do you? Well, here it is. Oh, lift. I'm lifting. Lift, it feels nice. I don't like it. It's a demon. So from the beginning of planning funny pregnancy related video content, I have had this video idea on the top of my list, but I had to wait. I had to be patient because I needed a legitimate baby bump to make this video idea work. Well, now that I am seven months pregnant, yeah, I'm almost there, I only got two months left, I finally have the bump needed to test out some super weird pregnancy products. So originally I saw the idea for this video from Colleen Ballinger and immediately I was like, yes, I have to do this. This kind of falls in line with weird pregnancy life hacks. A video that is also coming soon now that I have a bump. But anyway, the first weird pregnancy product that I bought was inspired by her video. And it's of course this Cotton Whisper 3-pack Pregnancy Maternity Printed Smile Adjustable... That's... what is it? <laughs> I feel like this Amazon listing was written out like a YouTuber would try to label out a video. Just trying to put as many keywords in the title as possible, but doesn't actually make any sense. But it's, uh, it's underwear. It's pregnancy underwear that pulls all the way up <laughs> over your stomach. I'm actually very excited to wear these. <laughs> probably on a normal basis because at this point they're probably the most comfortable things I could wear. But I'm a little scared that these anime faces are gonna haunt my nightmares. <laughs> but here they are and I'm about to do the weirdest fashion show for you guys ever. Obviously over my leggings though because I mean nobody wants to see that anyway. <laughs> okay so I may have made a mistake ordering a medium. They are cutting circulation off to my legs and I wanted it to come higher. These are not comfortable. I have to like go like this for you to see the, <laughs> and I have to go like this for you to see the face. This one here is named Beatrice. <laughs> what is this? I've honestly just never felt more beautiful. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Let's try some other faces. This one's name is Sven. <laughs> it's too small. <laughs> I feel like this might give people nightmares. Just a little bit. I don't know, I don't know how to model these. <laughs> This is not flattering at all. Okay, I just realized I got duped because this is the same face on all three of them. But on the Amazon listing, they have three, three different faces, three different expressions. This is also not a medium. I'm a medium. Ah, why, why, why are these not elastic down here? Ah. I don't know why, but the skin colored one is the most unsettling of all. Go back to the pink. You know, it's funny because one of the pieces of advice that pregnant ladies give is don't worry, all of your dignity and care about your appearance is gonna go right out the window once you get big enough. And uh, I think I think, I think, this is the personification of that advice. I just look like a giant baby. Oh my god, you can see it through the shirt. This looks so weird. Ready? This is how I like to scare children now. Oh, you want to see my baby bump, do you? Well, here it is. Bobby, you want to see my new underwear? Uh... What do you think of this? That's something, right? That's a look. Look, it'll scare people away. Cause people keep asking me about my baby bump and I'm not always like, oh, here you go. So now maybe if they ask me and I do this, they'll never ask me again. <laughs> How's your baby bump? This? 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 The extra baby. Her name is Beatrice. No, it's not. Your underwear's name? The underwear's oh, okay. name. Hello, Beatrice. <laughs> She's anime. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Okay, so this next one might seem weird, but it's actually apparently very helpful. And it's a maternity belt. So basically what happens, especially if you're a smaller person, is your stomach grows so large that you kind of become like top heavy and it tends to hurt your back and put pressure all over your body. It's great. Pregnancy is such a blessing. <laughs> actually, funny enough, there was a trend on TikTok where people would have their friends or partners like pick up the bottom of their stomach to take the pressure off their back, which I might try to have Bobby do before I put this on just to see how much pressure it relieves. But basically, you know, just in case you can't have your person standing with you at all times, holding your belly up for you, there's the maternity belt. Watch me end up loving this thing and like never wanting to take it off. All right, continuing with the weirdest fashion show ever. All right, here's the belly band. And I've definitely seen more complex ones that have like things that go through your legs. 
This one's pretty simple, so hopefully it still works. I don't feel any different. I mean, I guess it helps a little bit. Take some pressure off. Wow, I am just too cool, guys. I can't handle it sometimes. Maybe toward the end when my stomach's really big, this will be more helpful. Or maybe I need somebody to tighten it. I don't know. Well, so we'll see. So there's this TikTok trend that I want to try before I show you the other product. You basically have to go up behind the oh, pregnant person and it lift it up. But I don't, I feel like there's not much just... to lift up because it's not oh, let's try it <laughs> yeah i don't really feel like i'm just squishing her oh lift i'm lifting lift it feels nice <laughs> i don't like it i don't want to hurt her wait I'll, I'll i'll push it out it's not big enough they made a product so i don't have to have you do that i need you to <laughs> strap it around strap it around as tight as you can get it it's fine it's just gonna it comes up from the bottom it doesn't doesn't do anything. <laughs> I can't tell if it's taking pressure off my back. Well, here, ready? Yeah, ready? take it off and then I'll know. Yeah. Oh, it does help a little bit. <laughs> a little? Yeah. I could see why it would be helpful late. Maybe later. I'm Maybe sure later, later on. But these underwear are helpful right now. See how it works for me. It might work with anybody with a stomach, not just pregnant people. <sighs> yeah. Right. All right, next pregnancy product we have is the Preg Egg. A personal nine month countdown. I don't know what this thing is that pops out of the egg. Why isn't it like a baby? <laughs> On the box, it shows a baby, but inside the box, it's like a Pokemon. <laughs> so of course I have it right here. It had lots of mixed reviews. A lot of people said that it didn't work or it popped open early, which if this pops open early, it's gonna freak me out and be like, does this egg know something that I don't know? It's not time. Time yet. I mean, we only got two months to go, so this definitely should last that long and not, some people were saying it was dying before the end of your pregnancy. Oh, and it came with a battery. Oh, yay. Okay, it's on. Okay, it starts at 240. There's apparently a manual. Where's the buttons, actually? It goes, you'll notice buttons on it. <laughs> Where are the buttons? Inside? Oh, did I break it? What is this thing? Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, well on the website, I couldn't see the little feet, but it's a little chick in an egg. It look, doesn't it look like a, like a lizard or a, a, a dinosaur? I don't know. You have to wait nine months for that. <laughs> but don't worry, cause I just got to show it to you right now in 20 seconds. All right, so today, the day I'm filming this, I just hit 30 weeks, so I have exactly 10 weeks left if the baby comes right on the due date, which usually doesn't happen. But roughly that means I have 70 days left. I don't know what I'm more excited about, the baby or getting to see the chick again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put this in the nursery <laughs> as a little remi countdown reminder. I actually like this more than I thought. So there you have it. Preg egg. Very cute, but a little underwhelming after waiting nine months. And also I had no idea this was a chick until just this moment. <laughs> okay, so this next product kind of has a story. I had it before I decided to film this video and that is the baby Doppler. So a lot of you might not know this if you've never been pregnant, but especially in the beginning, you don't get check-ins with your baby a lot. <laughs> like people are always like, Lauren, how is the baby? I don't know. I feel her kicking every now and then, and that's about it. That's the extent of my knowledge of how she's doing. When you go to the doctor's office, they use one of these little things to check the heartbeat. And I didn't realize that you could get one at your house to check yourself. Now you're not supposed to use it a lot. Use it very sparingly, even though it's completely safe. They just, they don't know what would happen if you like used it all the time every day. So they just advise not to. But the reason I originally bought this was because back when we got COVID, I had to cancel my doctor's appointment appointment and I wasn't allowed to see the doctor for like almost three weeks because I had to quarantine. My friend told me about this baby Doppler that she had gotten when she was pregnant. So I ordered one and it is one of the coolest things. And even though we've used it before, I just wanted to show you guys it because I thought you would think it was really cool and a really personal experience for both of us. So here's the box. I need Bobby's help filming this bit, but it comes with belly jelly and you can read the heart rate and you can even hear the heartbeat. It's really cool. I'll show you what I mean. Oh my God, I feel like I'm in therapy. I should be. After the beginning of this video, it's very clear I probably should go to therapy. All right, um, medical assistant Bobby. I'm ready. All right, I gotta put on some belly jelly and then we gotta try to find, gotta find the heart. It takes a little bit. Ooh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Here we go. Oh, I'm scared. It's gonna be... Ow. 
I never know. I oh, haven't tried the other one. That, that might be it. That's kind of good. Is it reading it? Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> it's a demon! <laughs> There's too many noises. Yeah, that's definitely it. I think it's just louder because she's bigger since yeah. we did this. <laughs> that's not my heart. No, that's, that's too far into my pelvis. <laughs> that's her. Did it. Okay, so continuing around the path of products that involve your belly and audio, I came across these. Uh, belly buds, baby bump headphones, sound and voices to the womb. <laughs> Straight to the womb. Uh, so yeah, basically, if you're like, hmm, I'm gonna play classical music so that my baby is smarter when it comes out. People have said this, but there's actually no evidence for it. <laughs> or you just wanted your baby to experience the new corpse husband song. <laughs> I probably advise against that for a new baby, but just, just in case, uh, you can use these instead of regular headphones. They're supposed to like attach right to your stomach and just project music sounds and voices straight to the womb. I mean, look at this couple. Look how happy they are. Oh my God, you could let your baby listen to one of my videos with you. And obviously here they are. I have not tried them yet. I don't know what kind of music that I should put in here or sound effect, maybe some soothing sound effects or some lovely copyright free music. <laughs> but yeah, let's see uh, Let's see how this works. Oh, it's the family. Dexter stole my spot, so he's gonna be in, he's gonna be in this. Bobby, I found headphones for our baby. Oh, sick. So we can play, I don't know, whatever, whatever we think is good for babies to listen to. <laughs> Snoop Dogg? No, it's gotta be copyright free. Rage Against the Machine? No. Do you want our baby to come out angry? Baby music I found on YouTube that hopefully is copyright free? Sure. So the baby's hearing is fully developed at about 20 weeks old and memories start at 30. Yeah. I'm 30 weeks today. Here's your first memory. This this is gonna be her first memories. Oh, I can hear it. Oh, that's relaxing. I gotta put them on. Eh. Whoa. Oh, I can't hear it at all what? now. Can you imagine she just starts to hear no, it? I hate it. <laughs> what is this? Do you like that baby? <laughs> Open your mouth more. Does it radiate out of your mouth? Could you imagine that would be so <laughs> weird? All right, let's play some gangster music. <laughs> Are you playing your favorite songs? Playing some Bob Marley. She's gonna hear a lot of that when she's born. They did say that if you play certain songs for your baby while you're pregnant, it'll soothe them when they're born. It soothes me. We just play the same song over and over and then it'll become like a trigger, like to help them go to sleep, calm down. Dexter's had enough. He took my spot and then he leaves. Oh, she's moving. Is she? Yeah. She likes Bob? Did you see it? She's probably like, I was sleeping. What the hell are you doing? What is this? I wonder if that's a good or a bad sign. <laughs> she loves she loves some Bob Marley. Now I gotta look up, I gotta look up things that it says to play for your baby while you're pregnant. This is gonna be our new nighttime ritual, is just introducing introducing the baby to music. Okay, so these last two pregnancy products have to do with comfort and sleeping. So this is a pregnancy pillow. I didn't know what this was until about two years ago, we went on vacation with one of our friends who was pregnant and she had one of these and it was amazing. I wasn't even pregnant and I loved laying in it. So I said, whenever I decide to get pregnant, I'm getting one of these. And I asked her which one it was and I got it. Dream fulfilled. <laughs> I've literally slept with this thing every single night. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep without it. But basically you can't sleep on your stomach when you're pregnant or at least further along and you're not supposed to sleep on your back either when you're further along because the weight can go on your back and it's not good. I'm not a side sleeper, but when you cozy up with this thing, you can kind of like half side stomach, half not sleep. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It works. It helps. I mean, just look, look how comfortable she is. This is me. This is me every night. But yeah, uh, it's too big for me to bring it down here. So I'm just going to bring you guys upstairs and show you what it looks like and how it works. Okay. So I brought my pregnancy pillow downstairs from the bedroom and immediately Dexter came in and sat in it. Uh, so Dexter, what do you think of the pregnancy pillow? It's comfortable. He likes nests. So this is kind of- Yeah, like he nests. likes laying like in between our legs. Here yeah, he go. loves nests. Are you comfy? Dexter loves the pregnancy pillow. He never gets to use it because I'm always in it. He's like, now's my chance. She's not in it. Oh, hey Dexter. 
Dexter, can I showcase the pillow? Can I showcase the pregnancy pillow, Dexter? <laughs> I don't want to make a move. I feel bad. Can you move for mama? Mommy's gonna try. This way, come here. You can use it right after. I'm gonna nest. Oh yeah. So at night, this is me. <laughs> is Dexter mad? He's very mad. Dexter, how mad are you? <laughs> Dexter's like, you kidding me? Yeah, it's nice. You could you could lay like this, you could lay the other way, or you could just like lay in it like a nest. Like Dexter was displaying. Like Dexter was displaying. I don't know how I'm ever gonna sleep without this thing again. Now this next one I bought specifically for this video, and it's basically a way for you to lay on your stomach once again, even though you have a bump, and it's called the Cozy Bump. A pregnancy pillow, the best pregnancy pillow for sleeping prone, pregnant, oh my God, they're doing the keyword thing again. <laughs> Helps baby flip to birth position. Interesting. <laughs> Helps you feel weightless, like you are not pregnant. <laughs> Uses, catching up on sleep, tanning your back. Ooh, that's a good one. Getting a full back massage, floating in the pool, having the option to lie on your stomach. Oh my God, this might be game changing actually. I was making fun of it, but I, it might be game changing, I don't know. Guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> <laughs> Dexter's checking it out. You can't steal this from me now. <laughs> oh, like, okay, I'm sorry, bud. You okay? I didn't mean to offend you. Okay, um, this is interesting. We didn't know what this hole was, and we're assuming it's for your bosoms. Oh, uh, yeah, it's for breast opening. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, let's see if I like this. I feel like I'm not. Uh, I tried it, it wasn't that comfortable. I also don't have a baby in my belly. Oh God. You need, you need support in Wait, your leg. the bosom hole, there we go. I feel like my back would hurt. Okay, I guess I could just go like that. This is a little better. Or if you put, you can put your own pillow on top of this. So maybe like, I don't know. It looks uncomfortable. I will say if I was pregnant during the summer months, I would definitely use this to tan. Yeah, it's not important. You gotta get your tan in on your back. <laughs> I mean, you're already feeling kind of low because your body's massive now. So at least you can get a nice tan. Sure. <laughs> or like a massage. Massage it could be good for. But massage, it, there's I don't so like many the angle. Better... It just looks like you're... <sighs> you need more support in your feet. Wait, let me try something. This was expensive too. Feet up. You'd have to like really miss laying on your stomach. Try that. Well, that's nice. A little better? You look more even now. I just feel weird because this this cost, cost a decent How much was it? Money. I think a hundred something. I'd say for the summer. What do you give it out of 10? Maybe like a six. Yeah. I see the use of it, but I just, I don't, I don't know if I would use it. So summer approved, but maybe not winter approved. <laughs> All right guys, well that's all the weird pregnancy products that I found. Let me know if you made it this far in the video by leaving a like before you go. Also, just to let you guys know, I have a brand new members only perk. You will get access to my new Emo Jam emojis. So Emo Jam is the next generation of emoji. They're animated and they have sound, provided by yours truly. Seem sus. You can basically use these exclusive audio gifts with your friends in chat apps like iMessage, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, and more. And all you have to do to access it is download the Emo Jam app, link in the description, and then sign in with your YouTube account so that they can see that you're a YouTube member. Now I know not everybody can afford to be a channel member, so I still wanted to give you guys the opportunity to try them out by offering a free one to you, whether you're a channel member or not. But if you want the other more exclusive gifts, then maybe think about becoming a member. There's more info about that in the description below as well. You get a really cool Z badge next to your name, you get really cool emotes that you can use in the comments and on my live video premieres, and you'll have access to special monthly community posts that I make such as Q and A's that only you and other members will be able to see. So like I said, check out all that info in the description below if you're interested. Why not? If anything, you'll get one for free. And yeah, just want to make sure you guys knew about that. And if you're still looking for something else to watch, why not check out one of these videos? And maybe even hit the subscribe button over there. It's so easy and it's free. <laughs> also, there's some merch links if you like. Just totally up to you. It's a free for all. <laughs> Click what you like. And as always, I will see you guys soon.